You know, as far as that hamburglar is concerned, yeah, yeah. he could have got away stealing way more burgers if he didn't dress like a burglar. Yeah, I think he got off on it. I think that it wasn't the stealing, uh, it wasn't the items, it was it was getting off on, on being the hamburglar. You know, that was his identity, man. But but he really got off on burgers. Yeah, but I think that – yeah, but burgers at McDonald's back in the day were 40 cents. Yeah, but you don't know what, where he's coming from. You don't know his situation, his upbringing. You don't know his I, financial situation. I do know it's easy to steal a dollar than it is to steal, <laughs> steal hamburgers from behind the register at McDonald's. Well, no, but in his universe, he wasn't stealing – was he stealing hamburgers from brick-and-mortar McDonald's? Where else was he getting? Where else? Where would like? I thought it was like a magical land where there was just like burgers and stuff like that. He, well, if there you're is telling a me, land. you're telling me all the characters from McDonald's live in a world where there are brick and mortar McDonald's. Okay, well, let's go down your path then. So if they they live in a world where where Grimace and Mayo McCheese and everybody could just have all the burgers they want, why is this fucking asshole stealing burgers? Why is he the only one that's let's stealing fucking, burgers? Hold on a second. Okay, let's get this is ridiculous now. <laughs> like. Okay. Hold on, hold on. Here. Okay, all right. McDonald Land, McDonald Land was a fantasy world. Okay, used in marketing. According to a lawsuit, it was based on the total concept and feel of Sid and Marty Cross H and R Puffin Stuff's television program. Oh, so wow. a direct ripoff. McDonald Land was inhabited by Ronald and other characters. In addition to being an advertising, the characters were used as a basis for equipment in the playgrounds. McDonald Land and this oh, this is McDonald Land, man. Give me Hamburglar. Where are we, man? Did you I typed Hamburglar. Hamburglar. I don't know why I'm Do you remember Mac the Knife? Hamburglar. Did we talk about Mac the Knife before? Uh I'm not sure. Okay. Mac the Knife was was we uh, we'll talk about it another time. Here we go. All right. I got everything we need to know. All right. What do you All got? Right. No, but we can go into Mac the Knife. All right. Um well, first of all, I got the lowdown on every motherfucking person here. And also Captain Crook? <laughs> Who the fuck is this kid? A lot of thieves, man. A lot of... Cause, oh, right, because there was also the... the There was also my favorite ride in McDonald Land was, besides the ball pit, was when you went into the cop's cheeseburger mouth and it looked yeah, like jail. Yeah, I remember that. That was the best thing you climbed up yeah, in. Yeah, yeah, it was like a round there. thing that you would crawl around in. They They really set up in the McDonald's world... Okay, this is a whole other podcast right here because in the McDonald's world, they really set up like a good and evil, right and wrong thing. How oh. fucking happy are they that they that whenever they made the hamburger, they made him a white guy? Yeah, could you imagine like he he was he was the one black character, he was <laughs> a thieving hamburger because yeah, it was made like you know right forty fifty years ago. <laughs> and then today they had commercials and the hamburger would come shuffling <laughs> on. Oh, they would have had to reimagine right. him completely. <laughs> but there's so many characters I don't even know. Like who? Tweety the Bird. Who's the, okay? Okay, tell me if you know all these. Tell okay. me if you know them or don't. Good. Ronald McDonald. Okay. Clearly. Hamburglar. Of course. Grimace. Yes. Mayor McCheese. Yeah. Birdie, the early bird. She's the, she's the one with the yellow wings. Yeah, with the, bitch, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Captain Crook. Captain Crook, I don't know. The Professor. Familiar sounding, but I don't know. Officer Big Mac. Yes, of course. Fry Kids. Yeah, Fry Kids were creepy as shit. The Hamburger. Aren't those the Fry Guys? Are we, isn't the Fry? Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, the name was later in... This is how much I know. The name was later changed to the Fry Guys in 1983. Okay. Then the Fry Kids back again in 1987. Then female characters, the Fry Girls. All right, we'll get into it in a second. Right. The Hamburger Patch. Yes. Fictional city where hamburgers grew. Okay. See? I remember he the didn't steal from brick and mortar establishments. So then why is he stealing it all? Trash cans. Talking twin trash cans. No, I don't remember. The Happy Meal Gang. No. Uncle O'Grimacy. No, but it sounds vaguely racist. Cos- cosmic. Yes, An alien. Yes, cosmic I remember MC. Him. Yes, yes. I do not. The McNugget Buddies. Sure, but they were minor, right? They Bernice. Like... Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Female Grimace type character? A strange creature that was introduced in 1992. She ate inedible things like the script in the three part. Oh, okay. Ronald McDonald making was. I don't know who she is. All right. Vulture. No. Sunday. No. I am hungry. No. Griddler. The Griddler. The Griddler. Whoa. Shit. That's, that's, I mean. Stepping right in Batman's toes right there, but all right. Yeah. Mike the Microphone. No. 
See? See what I'm saying? All right. All right, well, listen. Right, well, let me, wait, 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 you get the burglar, hand burglar? There's one little thing. Oh, they have, they have a fictional bio? Yeah. Oh, they all, do. Every one of these. Okay, give us a Has hamburger. a bio, is what I'm saying. <laughs> hand burglar, a pint-sized burglar who first appeared in March 1971 okay. and was one of the first villains on the commercials. He was dressed in a black and white hooded shirt and pants, a red cape, a wide-brimmed hat, and red gloves. His primary object, which should say objective, it's Wikipedia. Sure. His primary objective, oh, oh, his primary object of theft, I'm sorry, I didn't read that, was hamburgers, hence his name. The character, like Grimace, started out as a villain. Hold on, did you know Grimace was a villain? I didn't know Grimace what? was a villain. What? Hold on a second. The, okay. The character, like Grimace, started out as a villain, only he was old, had a long nose, gray hair, and was called the Lone Jogger. In some 1970s like a, commercial, very sporting a shirt that said Lone Jogger. That is like some straight up Central Park, like, yeah. like mug you, rape you shit. Yeah, that is right? weird. Hamburglar spoke in gibberish, which was often translated by Captain Crook. He was revised in 1985 when his look changed from a troll-like old man. He was originally a troll-like old gray-haired, big-nosed man with a shirt that said the Lone <laughs> Jogger. What? Fucking marketing meeting did that come out of? That was like in nineteen like sixty seven. Right, everybody right. was on mushrooms, without a doubt. Why would that represent? Who is that reaching? Think about this. Think about this. The Happy Meal, McDonald Land. The characters in and of themselves are made to, to appeal to children, and one of the things is a creepy old. Big nosed, white haired, creepy man called the Lone Jogger who does who 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 dabbles in criminal activity. I can't find I can't find the picture of it, of the Lone Jogger. Holy shit! There's a fucking slutty Hamburglar Halloween costume. Oh my god, that's amazing! I kind of want to fuck a girl that's dressed like that. You I gotta kind of want to. Yeah, no. Are you kidding me? I, I would go buy a fucking. Just- I would ju- just go to McDonald's, yeah. right, and just buy. Literally a sack of like forty burgers. Right. Come back to the department, hide them everywhere. Okay, right? Yeah, yeah. Try to put a little badge on your t-shirt or something like that. Have her running around trying to find the burgers. Right, right. As soon as she finds one, you make her pay for it. You arrest you get, her. You get out your nightstick. That's right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Where so, am I going to find in my life a girlfriend that that fucking cool? Oh, they're all out there. Are they? Yeah, they're all out there. What girl would be say no to that? It's fun. So that's fun. That's fun. I'm gonna. I want to do that just for the story, just to have it in my life. Yeah, I made a dress up as the Hamburglar. All right, I hid burgers all over the house. <laughs> <laughs> I want to do it. It's hide, all I want to do. Burgers now. all over the house, and then be like, all right, try and find the burgers. And then every burger you find is going to be a different consequence, right? Different well, burger? hold on. I think you got to revise it because she's got to. St- she gotta get caught finding the burger. If she gets gets the burger and gets away with it, you know, you gotta let her have that burger. Right. But if you catch her, that's where consequences come in. All of it sounds good. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that has to happen, right? It has oh, to happen. Okay. I tell you, you know, what, I don't want to have sex again until <laughs> unless that the next the next time yeah. I have sex it will involve hamburgers yeah. or McDonald's. <laughs> the, I actually just throw this out there to all of you because you're probably listening and think it sounds good. If you're a guy yeah. or you're a girl listening, you want to surprise your boyfriend or a guy listening and you want to spice them up, you want to co- – do me a favor. Have the conversation with your significant right. other. Say, this thing exists. It's online. Order it. Do us a favor. Tell us how the experience went. Take a picture. Black, you don't you – know, don't, you don't have to show face. Yeah. Well, we don't want to get – I don't know if we want to get X-rated photos circulating on our Twitter feed. I do. <laughs> no, we have what say you pod at gmail dot com. Is it pod or podcast? You, I think it's pod. Okay, it's on our website. What say you? Yeah, you're right. What say you pod at gmail dot com. That's send right. them there, or just send them. Just send them post or pre. It doesn't have to be X rated. Sure, but or just just send them along with 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 the experience. Right. Ta- email us your pictures. Not of the, you know, just if you if she's in the costume, if you're, if you're all on McDonald's buying the hamburgers for the sure. deed, after it, a couple of chuckles, whatever you want to do. I we I'm mostly interested in hearing <laughs> you type the prose, like type type out how it went, right? And we'll read the stories on the. Oh, listen to me, great. you can't fucking lie. 
Don't I, lie. I'm going to weed out the lies. I can tell when you're lying. Don't sensationalize right. the story. If it went underwhelming, I want to hear it. Sure. If the whole place reeked of burgers, it wasn't sexy. You got chopped onions everywhere. I don't know what happened. Sure. Your girl, your girl turned out didn't look good as a burglar. I don't even know what happened. You know, right. just tell us the real life story of what happened, and we will have a special. That's right. Dedicate to it now. And I'll tell you what. Uh, I do you. Th- is it horrifying if, if at one of our meet and greets, a girl slips us a hotel room key and is like, just show up later. And then you walk in and she's dressed like a hamburger. Like, don't, don't try and pull that or, or try and pull that. I don't know where I stand with that. I, I don't, I don't, I don't dabble there, man, but <laughs> none but, of us dabble there, but I'm just talking about for the, for the, uh, for the, how funny is it if a girl comes up to one of the meet and greets dressed like the hamburger and she just slides the key? <laughs> That's fucking funny. Touche. Yeah. Touche. I mean, yeah. you're, I mean, I'll shoot you straight. You're going to be alone with a lot of burgers, but of course, of but, course. but you know, like, but but it yeah. is it it it, it does show a, a certain uh, a certain spirit. It does that uh, it that does. we appreciate. It does. Uh, he was revised in '85 when his look changed from a troll like old man to a redheaded Dennis the Menace type child mm. uh, who spoke and wore a shorter brimmed hat and black cape and yellow on the inside. His previously unintelligible. Bu- unintelligible muttering was you're very much like the hamburger Thank you. was now in the familiar <laughs> robble robble. Rubble, rubble. In the wacky adventures of Ronald McDonald, he took on a new sporty appearance wearing green goggles, a leather jacket. Actually, I am getting into this lore, this McDonald land. You really lore. sucked in. We, I would love to watch cartoons, get any of the, any of the old, like, I'm sure they printed up, um, like comics. I, I would love to see what, what they, I would really love to see the full realization of this whole McDonald thing, the scope of when it started, when it ended, right. all the miscues they did, like like the old man and stuff. I would love to get into this. I'm just gonna go on eBay right now, and I'm gonna type in ham. He loves playing burglar. tricks on his friends, and he still loves burgers. The last appearance of Hambler Burglar was on television, where prime time commercials pro- promoting the dollar menu. One spot featured the Hamburglar and Grimace with Cedric the Entertainer, <laughs> and the final spot featured the Hamburglar with Venus and Serena Williams. From 1971 to 1992, Hamburglar was performed by four foot three inch character Frank Delfino. He was the same guy. Same guy. He wore. He was performed by a guy, a four foot three guy, for twenty one years. He was the same guy in every commercial. Why? Why? Well, I'll tell you why. The brand, the loyalty to this yeah, man. But if something works, you you don't, you don't you don't break it. This is what I just ordered for us on eBay, my friend. <laughs> Two Hamburglar drinking glasses. Nice. I just fitter. I'll be getting them in about six hours. I think the Hamburglar from- figured out life. Really. Yeah. He was. He he had his fun. It was almost like he was facing the apocalypse to bring a full circle. That's right. And he just decided to have like like his hijinks didn't like he kept it. He found he found. He found an area that was both criminal and fun, sure. but wasn't going to harm anyone. Yeah. Did he ever do any real jail time, this guy? He lived his life like it was the apocalypse, okay. the hamburger. The hamburger box. Uh, the character was voiced by Howard Morris. Uh, there you go. I mean, Frank Delfino. Let's see what this fellow looks well, like. Well, no, no. Let's call the thing because I got I to get going. We're over an hour. Frank Delfino died in 97 at the age of 86. Uh, I didn't want to hear that. Oh, well, there you go. I mean, a sad end his life was stolen was from him. His knee shot him with a gun. Oh Jesus! He died of bone marrow cancer. Oh Jesus Christ! Call the cops. Call you the know co- what? That's you spend your whole life. You spend your whole life. Uh, you know, basically encum- uh, engulfing the, the 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 mind of a criminal. Right. Those 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 those, <laughs> right. those negative thoughts are going to creep in That's and right. it's like actually, manifest it's itself. Very similar to what happened. To uh, Heath Ledger when he played the Joker, oh, geez, <laughs> just just couldn't get past. The, yeah, a the lot character. of people know about Heath Ledger. Not a lot of people know the That's story right. of Frank Delfino. Right. All right, all right. So the Wilkes Bear yeah. Police Department. I know. I'm going to call them right now. Wait, hold on. <laughs> I got to be honest. I don't see this going very far. <laughs> I so also wanted to see why Grimace was like what Grimace is and why he was a thief. But I understand you have to go. All right, I'll look that up on my own time. <laughs> Right as soon as we walk out. Uh, 